Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. We're here in Deadwood, South Dakota, home of the Cowboys. We're here about to do a social experiment, asking people what the general South Dakota population thinks of Muslims. My name is Pat. So I wanted to ask you a question today. What do you think the general South Dakota population views Muslims as? In my experience in South Dakota, there isn't a lot of people that know a lot about Islam. Mm -hmm. So maybe what they know is what they read in the news or, or something like that. Maybe they don't have a personal experience with someone that practices Islam. But today at this book festival, mm -hmm. we had a booth across from your booth. And you and your partner were handing out Qurans and literature, and I think you did an excellent job of educating people in my community mm -hmm. about Islam and did so in a very positive light with, would you like a copy of a Quran? If not, okay. You yeah. know, it's, but that's how people build bridges and mm -hmm. learn about each other is interaction mm -hmm. like that. Um, I think people are trying to figure that out for themselves. I think there's a lot of questioning and a lot of trying to learn. Um, I've been very impressed with um, people wanting to learn more about people that are different from themselves. So I know we have a long way to go in South Dakota. I know there are a lot of, um, unfortunately, stereotypes and um, negativity. Um, but I also know there are people who want to learn and want to appreciate others and are, are glad that you folks have come to this festival and are trying to help educate us. Yeah. What do I think of? I think Muslims are uh, people who can enlighten me yeah. about things that I don't know and understand. And um, I have had the privilege of, of being acquainted with Muslim people in Brookings, South Dakota. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am always butting up against the edges of my ignorance, you mm -hmm. know. And I've been very grateful for their patience with me and their willingness to engage me in dialogue and to also, uh, you know, listen to my own faith journey. Uh, it's it's uh, an exchange that enriches my life. Mm -hmm. So no negative uh, connotations come with it? No, I mean, once in a while I worry about, you know, um, some of the way certain cultures uh, engage with their Islamic faith. Mm -hmm. uh, and But I think those are distortions of what I understand true Islam to be. Yeah. Uh, just in the same way that there are distortions of uh the teachings of Jesus or the teachings of Buddha, yeah. you know, and so we have to listen carefully to every individual Muslim to see what their faith journey is and to not be afraid because the fear erects a barrier right away. Uh -huh. yeah. and, and then then uh, that causes problems from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So if we can start with the, the recognition, we're just human beings. We all want to be happy. Mm -hmm. We all want not to suffer yeah. uh, and then go from there. All right, thank you for your time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. As we conclude the social experiment, we realize in locations where people don't have access to Islam, they misunderstand Islam and it leads to Islamophobia. However, when we came to this people, gave them free Qur'ans, free knowledge about Islam, and we really just talked to them about, you know, what the religion, what the religion represents, they started to become more open-minded and started thanking us for the Qur'ans, for the knowledge that we're giving them. Inshallah, we'll continue to do those social experiments and more road trips. Wassalamu alaikum.